This video is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com and GatheringMagic.com, your place to explore the game. Hi, my name is Andrew, and this is my Melic Is It Paragon Day. Start off the deck, we got the commander, Malik. Yeah, he's pretty sweet. Um, play the top card of the library revealed. If it's in their sorcery, you may cast it, and you get a copy if you do so. So that's pretty sweet. It's a 2 4 body for 6 mana, blue and a red. From 4, four, four colors. Alright, so we got, I think, 7 islands. Yeah, 7 full art, Zendikar Islands. And we got 7. Um, mountains, because I like to keep it even, I don't know why, just kind of thing. Uh, we got a Temple of Epiphany, um, you get a Scry, it's in the colors, and you're tapped, whatever, it's, it's sweet, I like Scrying. Uh, Gain of Life, it's like, I'm, I'm pretty budget, <laughs> except for a couple of the cards in this deck that I just pulled, or my brother pulled, so Gains of Life, it's pretty good. Is it Guildgate, it comes in taps, get whatever you need, like, get both colors, it's pretty sweet. Uh, we got one of the Bounce Lands. I got the Modern Masters one, but I have one of the old ones. Just I don't know. I just thought the old this one looks cooler, I guess. Halmar Depths. Uh, top three rearrange. It's pretty sweet. I like it. Yep. Mana Confluence. I pulled this one. I wouldn't buy these. But they used to be pretty expensive. They're pretty. They dropped though. Yeah. Mana Confluence. City of Brass. It's really cheap. Uh, like really cheap. They get reprinted like four times. Shivan Reef, also really cheap, reprinted a lot. A command Tower goes for a couple bucks. It's, dead. it's really good. <laughs> um, see, I could be running like some of the Scalding Tarns or uh, Wooded Foothills or whatever, Polluted Deltas, but I don't have them. <laughs> and yeah, I don't really have a Volcanic Island or a Steam Vents. I'm trying to work on a Steam Vents though. To work for the Expanse, you got Arcane Lighthouse to make sure they lose Hexproof and get our Shins Road. It's really helpful, especially when you're trying to uh, remove something. We have Evolving Wilds, another little basic land tutor. Temple of the False God, gets you two for one. Um, Desolate Lighthouse, a loot ability on a land, sounds pretty good. Deserted Temple, I did not buy this, I found one of my friends gave it to me. So yeah. Um, Reclure Tower, Reclure Tower. The maximum hand size, that's pretty sweet. Homeward Path, I only run this, it's not very good in this deck, but I only run it so just in case they steal my commander, and my commander plays a pretty important role, so yeah. Uh, Gilded Lotus, and we're in blue and red, so there's not very much ramp, so we have to rely on artifacts, so. Yeah, Gilded Lotus, it's kind of like a black lotus, except five mana, you can keep reusing it, I like it. And it's not as expensive, I also got that from my brother. Chromatic Lantern, I pulled this, um, helps with fixing. It's whatever. It's pretty good. The three mana. Soul Ring. Uh, every commander deck it should be in at least. It seems like at least. Um, is it Signet? Just for a little bit of filter. Uh, a little bit of ramp. Dark Stealing it. Survives the board like uh, Artifact Wipe. And adds one any color. Rune Chandra Spike. So when I first got this card, I didn't realize that it said First Strike. And that makes this card so much better than it is. So it's easier to tack into things because you've just hit first. And trust me, in this deck you get a bunch of instant sorceries in the graveyard. Sphinx Bone Wand. This is like, like uh, you throw this down, and then next turn you usually win the game if you have enough can trips to go off. Uh, Psalm Singer Atom. I only run a couple creatures in this deck because I really wanted to emphasize the uh, instant sorcery theme. So he uh, fetches a, a land, basic land, and he when he dies, draw a card. Pretty sweet. Which is stable. Uh, Trinket Mage, you can only get Soul Ring. That's the only artifact to put in here because Soul Ring is that important. This, this deck loves mana. Goblin Luxromancer, it uh, makes all your spells cheaper and one less to cast. It's pretty sweet. Easier to go off. Hypersonic Dragon, I, I don't know why more people don't run this card. It's 5 mana for 4-4 four, four Flying Haste. That's already pretty good, right? Then you get the ability Sorcery Spells, you can cast them with a Flash. That's just even better. We Dragonauts, uh, another good card to win. This is like one of my win conditions, kind of. 
If I can go off on a turn, when you cast Mr. Sorcery, plus two, plus oh, until end of turn, that's flying. Another one of my win conditions, if you strap um, Rune Chanter Spike on any of these, you're going to go, you're going to do good. Oop. Um, so yeah. Got two of my token makers. Uh, Young Pyromancer, really good. Makes little one ones, it's for two mana. And then Dalaran, it's a uh, bigger brother, which is better. Um, four mana, two two, makes two two drakes. It's great. Alright, here we go with the instant sorceries now. The rest of the deck is. Alright, so we got some removal for artifacts. We have Smash, Destroy Target Artifact, Draw Card. It's pretty sweet. Vandal Blast is my favorite, um, what do you call it, artifact destruction. Because if you do the overload, everything you don't, all the artifacts you don't control. And especially if they have a Micro Sync Lattice, on, your opponent does. Oh, it's great. Chaos Warp. Uh, it's like the best removal Red has, I think. I'm pretty sure. Just shuffles anything in. Curse of the Swine is actually really good. Exile creatures is the best thing in Commander, so they can't reanimate them. And they just get Teach of Boars, whatever. It's better than what they had. Spin into Myth. Um, it's just really good for like going against reanimators, so they can't reanimate their spells and you destroy them. You put it on top and it goes, and you put it on the bottom. Turn and Burn, it just deals with the creature. It hits the colors, I kind of like it. I like the turn part. Uh, Mizzy Mortars, when you overload it, it hoses freaking token strategies. Or if you just need to do 4 damage to a creature, that's that's good too. Devastation Tide, uh, return, uh, return all non-life permanents from their hand. We don't have very many permanents in this deck, so it hurts the enemy more than it hurts us, uh, but the Miracle Cost is also really nice. Snap. Return to our creature with its owner's hand on top two lands. Yeah, that's it's it's not very it's really broken. <laughs> it's instant speed on top two lands, so it's pretty much free. Uh, a lot of our saga cards are broken. Blasphemous Act. Um, it's, I usually cast this for one. It just hoses down tokens. It's it's, it's great. Thirteen damage. Not burning my creatures or thirteen or bigger. Comet Storm. Uh, it's like a fireball kind of effect, but I don't know. I like this one better because it's instant speed. I don't like fireballs in speed, I can't remember. But anyway, it's it's pretty good. Well, especially if you have a lot of mana dump into it. Alright, here we got some tutors. Uh, but this is a tutor and out of uh, artifact from your opponent. I don't run bribery because I can't afford it, but you should probably run that in here too, it's pretty sweet. Um, so yeah, go get an artifact, whatever they have. I'm not even sure. If you're going against people with light silk losses, probably want to take that and just wreck them. It's our fault for running it. Um, fabricate, search your library for an artifact, uh, you see my artifact package, it's, it's pretty much ramp, so let's just go get some ramp. Merchant scroll, I usually go get, um, what do you call it, uh, cyclonic rift, just because I'm at a pinch. Knowledge exploitation is the, uh, I don't, I don't run any rogues, I don't think, um, yeah, I don't run any rogues. It's mainly casting for seven, but you get a bribery, a, uh, instant sorcery, that's pretty sweet. Firemind's uh, Foresight, it's an instant, so it makes it really helpful to cast it the end of the turn. And you get three cards, a three-card three, three card tutor. That's pretty cool. Increasing Vengeance, it copies your own uh, spell you control. Um, and also has flashback. I saw a video on Star City Games where I think it was the commander, and they, uh, I think John copied a uh, clone legion, and yeah, it messed up the whole game. It was... A big mess up, but whatever the game, the wah, it was still enjoyable. Uh, redirect, you may choose new targets for a spell. Uh, just saves my commander. Uh, reverberate, I usually copy uh, copy my own spells. Or if an opponent has like maybe an explosive vegetation or something, I'll probably hit that too. Uh, call to mind, it just brings back uh, one of my uh, uh, insert sorceries. This is like more my uh, getting back to my hand. Call to mind, passing flames. You see this in a lot of decks. Yeah, it's mostly to go off of Storm, but I'm not running Storm. I'm not really storming off. I do it sometimes. I have like two Storm cards. Uh, Mystic Retrieval. Uh, return another card to your hand. Has Flashback. Spell Twine. Um, it's really good. <laughs> it's like one of my favorite cards. Tidings. It, it's a draw four cards. Uh, yeah, I got the uh, promo one because I thought it looked cool. So yeah. Dig Through Time, it's recently been dropping in price, so I got one. And yeah, you get pretty, quite a big a graveyard, and just exile the lands or uh, creatures you mill, and you should be good. Keep that Runechanter spike up. Think twice, you also see this in some decks, draw a card, and then flashback. Yeah, it's something you do at the end of turn to get some value.
index to uh, make sure I can, like, if I'm keeping a really uh, edgy hand, I can, and I have a blue source on this in my hand, I usually keep, so I can just, if I, if it's not in the top five, then I'm just screwed anyways. Treasure Hunt, uh, another good card, just get you, if you have a bunch of lands stacked on top of your deck, you can go through right those, and draw a card. Uh, Brainstorm, you draw three cards and put two back on top, it's very helpful, uh, try to find an answer. Steam Augury, it's like the reversed factor fiction, I like it, and it's pretty cheap too, instant speed. Uh, Reforge the Soul, another miracle cost, uh, it's kind of like a, um, what do you call it? Wheel of Fortune, and I don't have one of those. I really want one, though. The art looks cool on it. Uh, so, yeah, I got this. Is it Charm? It fits the color. It kind of fits the theme. It has a lot of things, so might as well run it. Jachaxian Probe. Uh, it's mostly to draw a card. I don't really write things down because I'm not really competitive. I don't really, really care that much. I just kind of see what they're uh, working with. And, yeah. A Factor Fiction. Um, everybody knows what this card does, right? Or they should. It's pretty old. I got the, uh, from the Vault Edition, because it was like 99 cents. And it's full. And uh, we got Frantic Search, also from Urga, Urza something. I think it's Saga, I can't remember. Um, Untap um, 3 Lands, uh, Loot Effect. It's pretty sweet. Thought Scour, I usually target myself with this to get my Rune Chatter Spike going and draw a card. Preordain, it's another, uh, uh, what do you call it, Cantrip. Scry 2 draw a card. Uncovered clues. Look at the top four. Get an answer of sorcery, and then uh, put them in your hand. Faithless looting. Draw two cards. Just to discard two cards. And you also have the flashback cost, which is sweet. Uh, ponder. Look at the top three. Don't like them. Shuffle and draw a card. Uh, Counterflux is the only counter spell I run in this deck because uh, it can't be countered and it has the overlord. Overlord. Overload. And uh, yeah. So this is the uh, one exception for budget. I run Dak Faden because I, uh, my brother got in a pack, so then he gave it to me uh, it was for my birthday. That's pretty sweet. I just like how who Dak Faden is and his story and whatever. Uh, Mind's Desire, so this is one of the, uh, these are my two Storm cards I have. Um, so yeah, Mind's Desire is pretty sweet and Ignite Memories. I've, I've killed many people with Ignite Memories before. <laughs> so many people. Anyway. Uh, stolen goods, it's just to see what they have, and sometimes you can get something pretty good off of it, so that's cool. Red Vilification, um, it's just really good. If you hit the nine, you're getting five copies for nine mana of any creature, that's pretty good. Talent of Telepathy, or Telepath, I mean. Uh, target opponent reveals the top seven cards of his library, Kessinger's are sorcery from them, and then uh, Spell Master, you get two of them, so that's cool. Time Reversal. I really like this one. I don't. I can't remember what that one card is called. You want where you untap your lands. Um, it'll come to me later. I'd run that one, but that one is pretty expensive, so I'm running this one. Cyclonic Rift. Uh, I think it's like three or four bucks. So, eh, it's kind of it's not that expensive, but it's worth it. It's instant speed overload. Overload. I keep seeing overload. What the heck? Anyway, overload. Uh, it's worth it. I win the. I always win. When I, if I cast this card, I one time I hit it for twenty one, and I think I hit seventeen instant sorceries, and that was that was like game over for them. I had ignite memories in that pile. I remember, insurrection is another win condition. Um, untap all the creatures and gain control of them. They gain haste until on turn. Uh, <laughs> what can I say? It's great. Um, high tot. These two go together. These are like my last two cards. Um, they just produce a lot of mana, especially turnabout. Turned out it's one of my favorite cards, and then High Tide makes my islands tap for more. And that's my deck. Thank you for watching CMDR Decks, and subscribe and favorite.